Okay, this video is going to be on how to spin up an OpenStack, Ubuntu OpenStack instance, uh, and create the key pair so that you can log into that uh, instance from Windows. So, and the easiest way is with PuTTY KeyGen and PuTTY, since if you're on a Windows machine, it makes life a little easier and keep track of your sessions. So, let's launch an instance so I can show you how to build one. Uh, just put in whatever you want uh, the instance to be called uh, and for this for these images they require a minimum of 20 a 20 gig drive so you'll have to use the small flavor can't build a tiny on this one uh, and then access and security this is where we'll put our key pair uh, and we'll generate that here in just a second. But let's let's do networking first. Really, all you need is the admin network, um, the external network. I, I won't get into that at at this point. Uh, so let's talk more about this uh, access and security. So let's go to Putty and create a new configuration here and then we don't know well that's that's wrong we need to do that there for the save session name and then we'll put our IP in here once once the instance comes up but you need to go down to connection SSH and then auth and you'll want to you'll have to pull in your private key file here so open up when you download I'll put the little links on the website as usual uh, but download putty key gen and open it up uh, and just hit generate you'll have to move your mouse around in here to generate random activity uh, save your private key file We don't need a passphrase, that's okay. Yes. Uh, we're going to call this one JoeVM. Save it. Uh, you can save your public key file. That's probably a good idea. For handing to the sentence. But since we've got it open here, just select this whole thing. Copy it. and go back to the OpenStack instance and let's just hit the plus sign well, we're going to create a new key pair and put your public key right here and hit import key pair okay so this instance is good to go we've got the key pair so let's just go ahead and launch it and we'll let him spin up. While that's working, let's go over here and back to our putty window, we're going to pull in that uh, private key file. And here it is right here. Just open that up. And that's all that's required on the putty side. Uh, we'll have to put in the IP. So on uh, on these instances, this these are private network configurations uh, you need to add a floating IP associate a floating IP to it to be able to get in from the outside uh, let's just add a, a floating IP we'll grab it from this external net pool so we got uh, 10.1.1.9 let's associate it so that's the IP that you'll be able to get into with PuTTY. Let's come back to PuTTY, punch that in. And remember to save your session so that it'll save that key in on this configuration. And just hit open. Yep, we'll accept that key. 
and the for the for this instance the default username is Ubuntu. It's preparing your key and you're in. Easy as that. Alright, that's it for this one. Thanks.